girls and boys. Today, we're going to read Elmer and the Lost Teddy by David McGee. What do you notice about the front cover of this book? I see Elmer. What else do you see? Yes, he has a teddy bear on his trunk, on his nose. What do you notice about that teddy bear? He's patchwork too. Hmm. Elmer and the Lost Teddy by David McKee. The sky was already dark and full of stars when Elmer, the patchwork elephant, heard the sound of crying. It was Baby Elephant. He can't sleep, said Baby Elephant's mother. He wants his teddy. We took Teddy with us on a picnic, and somewhere we lost it. Never mind, said Elmer. I'll lend him my teddy. Tomorrow, I'll look for the lost one. Elmer went away and came back with his teddy. Oh, that must be Elmer's teddy bear. So maybe when we saw this picture, maybe that's the teddy that's lost. Because this isn't lost, that's Elmer's teddy. So Elmer's going to look tomorrow for the lost one. Elmer went away, he came back with his teddy, baby elephant smiled, and he was soon fast asleep with Elmer's teddy beside him. That was nice of Elmer. The next day, Elmer set off in search of the lost teddy. He hadn't gone far when he met his cousin Wilbur. Hello, Wilbur, said Elmer. I'm looking for baby elephant's lost teddy. Have you seen it? No, said Wilbur, but if I find it, I'll call you. A little later, a voice said, Hello, Elmer. Where are you going? It was Lion. Baby Elephant has lost his teddy, and I'm looking for it, said Elmer. Oh, dear, said Lion. Baby Lion would be very upset if he lost his teddy. If I find it, I'll call you. Maybe Tiger has seen it. As he came near Tiger's place, Elmer called out, Yoo-hoo! Tiger! Shh! Elmer! Tiger quietly called back. The twins are asleep. Sorry, said Elmer. Only, Baby Elephant has lost his teddy. Have you seen it? That's serious, said Tiger. The twins wouldn't sleep without their teddies. If I find it, I'll call you. After that, Elmer visited the other animals. All the young ones had their teddies, but none of them had seen baby elephants. They all said the same thing. If we find it, we'll call you. It was getting late into the afternoon and Teddy was still lost. I hope I find him soon, thought Elmer. It's nearly nighttime. It was at that moment that he heard a shout, help! Help! And then again, help! I'm lost! Elmer pushed through some bushes and there was a teddy bear. The voice came from the teddy. Please help me, said the teddy. I'm lost. I want baby elephant. You can talk, said Elmer in surprise. Please take me home, said Teddy. I can't sleep without baby elephant. Elmer still stared. Your mouth isn't moving, he said. Just then, Wilbur appeared from the bushes. Wilbur, laughed Elmer. I might have known it was you making Teddy speak. Wilbur chuckled. I said I'd call you if I found Teddy, he said, and I did. Come on, let's take Teddy home. It's getting dark. They set off together, singing as they went. Baby Elephant was excited to see his teddy again and quickly gave back Elmer's teddy. Baby Elephant's mother couldn't thank Elmer and Wilbur enough.
Alma, said Wilbur, weren't you worried that Baby Elephant would want to keep your teddy? Your teddy is very different. It's special. But Wilbur, didn't you know, said Wilmer, Elmer in surprise, you don't have to be different to be special. All teddies are special, especially your own. So what did Elmer say? You don't have to look different to be special. You might look very, very much like somebody else, but you're you and that makes you special. Thank you for reading with me today.